Friday marks 20 years since Hurricane Katrina devastated the Gulf Coast. Hard to believe it's been 20 years, right? Well, in the years since Katrina's landfall, technology has made huge strides. And no one knows that better than meteorologist Cheetah Craft to join us talking about it. Cheetah. Yeah, you know, I was actually in the meteorology program at Mississippi State. Mm. And back then, forecasting tools were powerful, but not nearly as advanced as what we have today. Since 2005, hurricane forecasting has made major strides. The National Hurricane Center's track forecasts are now nearly 50% more accurate thanks to new satellites, improved computer models, and real-time data from Hurricane Hunter aircraft. Look at the geostationary GO satellites we have now compared to what we had, you know, 20 years ago. We have much higher resolution data, both spatially, you can see a lot more detail. We get imagery much more often. I think back to when I got here at the Hurricane Center, you know, we only had like kind of large scale satellite imagery coming in like every half hour. So there would be things you could miss. Um, now we get you know, routine imagery every five, 10 minutes over almost the whole disk of the globe. And so you get the much more frequent imagery that's helpful in identifying developing systems. Uh, that data is also used in the numerical model, so it all kind of fits together. Better observations, better modeling leads to better forecast. And I hope we can talk about the better products we have now, especially when you think about storm surge. Oh yeah, huge strides there. Forecasters can now spot storms earlier, track rapid intensification more precisely, and warn communities with longer lead times. And that's uh, truly what they're always trying to do. You know, not only along the coast, but see now they do these storm sur surge warnings inland as well. Yeah. So it's impacts across the entire area, but huge advancements over the last yeah, years. Yeah, and you know, we were just talking about um, how difficult it was to even figure out what Katrina was doing. Because I know. Because it was just, it seemed like that storm was all over the place. And once it hit that rapid intensification, you know, that's really when it took off. So high resolution models and ensembles allow meteorologists to see multiple storm scenarios, giving emergency managers more time to prepare and save mm -hmm. lives. And that's really what the forecasts yeah. are, are, are supposed to do.